Um, hello, my name is Katya, and I am um, one of the members of our organizing committee for the symposium. And it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Sam Piri from Malawi. Dr. Piri uh, holds uh, a PhD degree in clinical epidemiology from London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. He is the executive director of the Lighthouse Trust at Kamaza Central Hospital, which serves 30,000 HIV positive Malawians. He is also a professor in the Department of Medicine at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Doc Dr. Peary's major interests include integration of tuberculosis HIV co-infection uh, co management with sexual and reproductive uh, services such as cervical cancer screening, as well as HIV-related cancers, mental health, and other non-communicable diseases. Dr. Piri is also a PI for Malawi Cancer Consortium, and today he will present his and his colleagues' work on catalyzing cancer care and research in Southern Africa. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Sam Piri. Thank you for the, uh, that uh, introduction. I'd like to thank the organizers for allowing me to present on behalf of my colleagues from Malawi and um, make sure that this works out already. Good. Right, so um, I'll be presenting on uh, behalf of the Malawi Cancer Consortium and uh, talking about uh, the catalyzing uh, cancer care and research in, in Southern Africa. And uh, some of the colleagues, uh, we have two colleagues in the, in the audience, uh, Dr. Ron Mataya from Lomba Linda University and College of Medicine, Malawi, and Dr. Did Akaditma from the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. The Malawi Cancer Consortium is uh, a collaboration which is uh, between the, um, the other several academic institutions, University of North Carolina, a Landbaker Comprehensive Cancer Research in Chapel Hill, and also Minister of Health, College of Medicine, and the Lighthouse Trust. So I'll just go, through. this is a program update of the U54, and I'll look at the uh, several calls within this uh, uh, cancer consortium, looking at the scientific progress on the, uh, on the research cause and the mentoring and the, and the analysis. So just uh, briefly, in, uh, in a nutshell, Malawi actually um, has uh, an HIV prevalence of about 10%. Uh, and uh, when you look at uh, the HIV uh, treatment coverage, uh, as we're finishing the year 2015, over half a million of people were on antiretroviral drugs, which is accurately 59% coverage for everyone requiring antiretroviral drugs at that point in time. But uh, human resource infrastructure uh, is a challenge, and as you can see in terms of the ratio of doctor and nurse uh, for the 100,000 population. And when you talk about cancer progress in terms of care, there is no radiotherapy in Malawi as we're speaking. So when you talk about technology and care, this is the real situation when we go into the country. And this actually uh, at the table is just showing what is the status of the cancer care. And it is now when he, the issue of the center of excellence as a cancer center is on the table to make sure that it should be uh, uh, built. So coming to the cancer consortium pro, uh, program structure, uh, they are, apart from the administrative calls, we, I should mention that uh, there's uh, three uh, projects uh, which are within there. There's the HIV cancer uh, linkage program, the Kaposi sarcoma, and also the lymphoma. These are the key actual research projects within the U54. And uh, there are three actual uh, PIs in, in, in this consortium. Uh, focusing on clinical research, uh, implementation science, and, uh, and biology. And uh, uh, with that, as I mentioned already, that uh, it, the HIV care is within the lighthouse and, and Queen Elizabeth, uh, this is Lilongwe and Blanta, respectively, and also the Malawi National Cancer Registry uh, for, for the linkage program. 
and then the Kaposis and Lymphoma, all these two projects are at Kamuzu Central Hospital, which is like a, the referral hospital for the central region, serving over five million people in Malawi. So the UNC project, which is uh, one of the main Akere members of this, uh, led by uh, Prof. Mike Cohen from Chabe Hill, Akere has been operating in Malawi over 20 years, and it is uh, um, a clinical trial site for uh, protocols which are being implemented uh, through the multinational NIH support, uh, sponsored networks, the SCTG, HPTN, Impact, Xavi, and MC, including okay, the MTN. Uh, so this is where the lymphoma uh, program is, is, is being led th uh, within the central hospital, uh, which is Kamozo Central Hospital. Coming up in terms of the, uh, the HIV components, looking at providing the cohort, the Lighthouse Trust provides the HIV cohort, and that's where also the, uh, the Kaposi Sakoma Akari uh, research uh, in terms of the cohort is coming from more. It's a center of excellence for HIV care in, in Malawi, and it's the largest because it's providing service delivery, model interventions and operations research, and also a capacity building because it's a training center. And uh, it has over 27,000 patients alive on treatment, and this is the cohort which is actually contributing to the cancer and HIV uh, uh, linkage program. It is a PEFA-supported actually program through CDC, and uh, it is also an NIH. Uh, uh, it is in the NIH research support. For example, the International Epidemiologic Database for Evaluating AIDS in Southern Africa, led by uh, University of Bern, and also the MCC, which I'm talking about today, and other programs, including acute HIV infection, and others which are WHO supported. So in terms of the, uh, the administrative support for this uh, uh, cancer consortium, uh, the team has been put into place because it was Zaka started early, uh, late in 2014, and 2015 has been a setup here in terms of the research projects and uh, to make sure that there's a coordination between UNC, Lighthouse College of Medicine, and the Malawi Cancer Registry. And it all has been put into place, including actually uh, the contribution uh, to the new construction of the, uh, which would house some cancer activities within Akere uh, Kamuzu Central Hospital be before the cancer, uh, cancer uh, 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 center, which is going to be uh, more robust. So in terms of the project one, which is the HIV cancer record linkage study, which is looking at the population-based cancer incidence and trying to make sure that we quantify the proportion of malignancies in Malawi uh, related to HIV, and also looking at the risk factors actually for the instant cancer, and then he, to make sure that we look at the, uh, the temporal trends in cancer incidence, including survival amongst HIV-infected individuals. So this is the project one for the consortium. And uh, the strength of this is that uh, it is actually a population-based cancer registry link to the HIV cohort, and uh, it, is use, it is using the validated uh, probabilistic uh, matching methods, and this is gonna provide an opportunity to build linkage capabilities within the existing National Cancer Registry. And uh, just to show that uh, from uh, 2000, 1999 up to uh, 2010, the Malay National Cancer Registry has been looking at uh, different types of cancer available, looking at non hodgkins lymphoma, breast cancer, oesophageal cancer, and then Kaposi sarcoma, cervical cancer, and then uh, looking at in terms of the, uh, the females, and looking at uh, urinary uh, bladder cancer, non hodgkins lymphoma, prostate and oesophagus and Kaposi sarcoma in the males. And uh, so the Malawi uh, linkage program is linking actually a data actually from this uh, from uh, 2010 to 2012 to, to link that up with the HIV cohort. So the progress is, uh, is, is, is available now for the, the, the linkage program with over 65,000 like, uh, records which have been abstracted so far and the linkage is in progress. The, uh, out of the six, 65,500, we are able now within the 65, uh, to, to, to the 65,000 we have, we have a cohort of about 30,000 of HIV, which uh, is uh, coming out in terms of 36,000 from the Malawi Cancer Registry, 
12,000 from the, uh, one of the ho central hospitals in the southern region, Queen Elizabeth, and then 16,000 from the lighthouse. So this is what is available for the linkage and we'll be able to show what the progress is over that. Project two is looking at uh, the subsets of HIV associated kaposis sarcoma to make sure that we look at improved outcomes and uh, looking at the prognostic score using the clinical variables and also to establish the prevalence of the, uh, the, the, uh, the Kaposi sarcoma and any genomic features in the tumor specimens, including comparing patient and tumor characteristics between Kaposi sarcoma uh, within a KVLT cohort. So far, we have appro uh, approval from the UNC line beggar and then currently the UNC IRB and Malawi IRB uh, the, uh, the, in that case, the ARBs are doing the, they did the initial review with some comments of modification and currently we, we are in the final stages of, of, the, of the review. So this actually project two, Kaposi Sakoma, is gonna to kick off in the second quarter of 2016 and the, there's a harmonization of the a, uh, ACTG and AMC clinical trials within actually uh, like uh, the UNC. There's been a delayed regulatory approvals because of the missed meetings for those two. And then the last actually uh, project is the, um, the lymphoma and uh, looking at the identifying cl clinical variables and also to identify the tumor characteristics in the HIV associated lymphoma specimens. And uh, 300 actually and 25 other than pediatric patients have been rolled and uh, we have had negligible loss to follow up and uh, currently we see that uh, uh, patients are successfully followed up over two years and uh, currently the specimen-based collective studies are continuing and we should be able to have these as they go on to the labs within the UNC Chapel Hill. So the uh, mentoring and analysis uh, 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 core of, of the consortium, there have been a significant progress in terms of face-to-face -face meetings be between in-country mentors and there's been a dedicated uh, U54 mentoring career development workshop, which is in Longway, and the analysis workshop, manuscript writing workshop, and dissemination seminars have been done within that process. So there are four pilot grants which have been given to junior investigators under the U54, and these are in progress in terms of implementation, which is actually part of the capacity building for the consortium. So as I'm finishing, uh, the U54 started off actually in an exciting way, and we are progressing with the program, and I would like to thank okay, all the team members who are part of the progress within the U54 implementation in Malawi a Cancer Consortium, in this case, and including the Malawi team, the Chapel Hill US team, and also looking at the grant support which is within that component. Thank you very much for okay, listening.